There's no if, buts or maybes. It's succinct. This is the plan I have to execute. And no room for error. Because remember, for every Donnie that wants her back, there's Donnies that she probably wants to entertain. There's Donnies that you're not aware of. There's Donnies on the bench. There's Donnies in the friend zone. There's Donnies in the DMs. Bro, in this game of love and romance, unfortunately, the game has to be tight, bro. Super. No homo. It's officially the year of getting your ex back. Don't worry, bro. I got you, man. As promised, I'm going to give you a year dedicated to getting your exes back. Today's video, I'm going to talk about how to get an ex back who's lost feelings for you. Don't worry, man. You're in good hands. No homo. Like, share, comment, subscribe. It's gonna be good. It's crazy because when you first lose the person that you, you're in love with or you love, man, and you feel like everything's crumbling. You feel like you can't breathe, you can't eat well. You feel like all hope is lost. It's crazy because no matter how much you try, you feel like you can't go on without them. You think like, if I try this, what's she gonna do? I'm breaking my back at this point and she's still not giving me anything to work with. But what can you do if you think your ex has lost feelings for you? What can you do to change her mind? This is what we're gonna focus on today. Right, the first thing you must understand, bro, is you cannot stalk your ex on social media. You cannot afford to lower your value anymore. But you need to understand less is more in this game of love and romance that we play. In order for you to get your ex back, she needs to be able to think about you. She needs to be able to remember the value that you had with her when you was together. You stalking her and spamming her with unnecessary attention is going to kill any chances of that. As hard as it may be, because I know you Donnie's out there, you want to see who your replacement is. You want to know what she's doing. But this is not the way, my friend. You know, you stalking her is going to push her further away. You stalking her is going to reinforce her decision to leave you alone and to get rid of you. This is not what you want. You want the opposite reaction. The more distance you keep, the more likely she's going to notice. And when she starts thinking about you, this is the sign that just maybe she's going to initiate contact with you. You must focus on yourself. This is not the time to smother her. This is the time for you to level up. I say it most of the end of my videos. Keep learning, keep growing, keep leveling up. Leveling up, this is what you need to do when you're not together with her. Number two, do not be really the available. So even when she does give you that opportunity, that window to come back, it needs to be on your terms. Yes, I get it. We waited for her to give us the opportunity. She says she's available on Monday. Even though you're available on Monday, bro, I need you to pick Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. You still need to try and play your role as the man, which is to lead the dynamics of that situation. Even though it's not really your leverage, we need to flip the frame and make it our surface. She wants to play on clay. We want to play on grass. Okay, to understand if you're so readily available, she's going to play you, she's going to manipulate you. There's no, <laughs> nobody doesn't like free power. And at this point, you're giving her free power. If she says Monday, 7 p.m. and you say, yeah, I can't wait, I'll be there. You've already lost. She can play you, be very careful. To work hard, and this comes with you being disciplined with your replies. Don't pick up a phone call. She's called you, don't pick it up. I know as hard as it may sound and as crazy as it may sound, don't pick it up. We need to create doubts. When there's doubt, there's uncertainty. When there's uncertainty, she's going to think about you. Be disciplined in everything that you do. I mean, everything that you say, be disciplined. Number three, FOMO, fear of missing out, which is also basically showing off your life. Since you've been without her, how have you upgraded? Have you moved into that place that you always told her you was gonna buy? Have you bought a new car? How's your life going? How's work going? How's your relationship with your family going? These are the things. Have you been traveling without her? Maybe you went to, maybe you went to Venice and you 
<coughs> excuse me, when you be, maybe you went to Venice and both of you were supposed to go to Venice and you went by yourself and you had a great time. Can you demonstrate higher value to the point where she knows and sees your value and wants you back? This is the mindset that you need to start thinking with. This is all about social media game. This is all about demonstrating higher value. Stories should be popping. You going on nights out should be popping. You having fun with your boys should be popping. Everything popping. <laughs> and that's all about positivity, positive interactions, positive mindset. You don't need to ever lower your value to the point where you're talking badly about women or badly about your ex. You're better than that. And that's beta, that's feminine, that's vaginal. And that's not what we're here about. We love women for what they are. We understand the realities of dating and relationships. Everything is, <laughs> is never personal. It's only business, man. Yeah, when you leave these bitches, never personal, it's only business, all right? Keep that mindset, man. All right, number four, this is a massive one. Learn to rock the boat. And when I say that, I mean, don't be a doormat. Stand up for yourself. Even when she does come back, stand up for yourself. You know what? I didn't like when you done this. You know what? I didn't like when you done that. You know what? I think you're kind of rude when you do this. Check it. Put your boundaries in place so that you can move forward positively when you go back a second time. When you have those conversations, actually express yourself properly. The last thing you want to do <laughs> when you get that chance again is be a one-on-one. -on -one. Is, is when you get that one-on-one -on -one chance again, is to be a yes man. Please, <coughs> excuse me, for your sake, don't ever be a yes man. No passive text messages, no good morning, no how are you, no I miss you, no when can I see you again, none of this vaginal behaviour. You're trying to get her back, she's lost feelings for you. You text her on the special occasions, birthday, Christmas, maybe your anniversary. Things that mean something to her. Small talk is for the friend zone, guys. For the beta males, the simps. Now, that's not you, bro. We want to differentiate ourselves by only popping up when it adds value to us because you're trying to get her back and to her, which will stimulate her brain. Okay? Today, it's all about making sure that she knows that you're doing great without her. If she comes back, no problem. Even though you want her back, she doesn't need to necessarily know that. And that's the key. Yeah. Number five, always when you get that chance again, drop the seeds. The seeds that I want you to drop are the one-on-one -on -one moments, the special moments that only you two know. Only you and her can relate to that in your whole life. These are the gems, these are the seeds, these are the memories that will create the opportunity for you to get her back. When you when she's talking and she's trying to maybe she's upset, talk about the first time that she was upset and you fixed it. Be very specific. I don't know your relationship with her. Only you can know that. And that's important for you to also concentrate when you're in that relationship and just drop the right seeds. If you can trigger the brain, bro, you're doing a good job. No awkwardness. No group settings, no negative talk. If she wants to talk negatively, say, hey, listen, I'm not here for that. I'm here to rebuild bridges. I'm here to make sure that we're on good terms so that when we do get back together, everything runs smoothly. If she wants to be a bit toxic with it, stem that quickly, silence that, humble the bitch. That's what you need to do. At the end of the day, you never know. You might be able to reignite the love that she has for you. Focus on the one-on-one -on -one time. Remember, your job is not to impress her. Your job is to make an impression. Make that impression that she cannot live without again. Again. <laughs> Number six. Remember, it's not your job to try and persuade her. Your job is just to try and allow her to remember the good moments you had together. You cannot convince her. You cannot beg her. She needs to want you back for herself. And this is a mistake a lot of you guys make. You want her back, she needs to want you back. You can't force it. You cannot. 
know if you you do know if you try to change her mind about breaking up with you it can push her further away you get one shot one chance one opportunity but every now and again you can create that second opportunity and for you donnies that want that you need to book me for coaching but you also need to understand that when you do get that second opportunity you have to be perfect you have to be there is no if buts or maybes it's succinct this is the plan i have to execute and no room for error because remember for every donny that wants her back there's donnies that she probably wants to entertain there's donnies that you're not aware of there's donnies on the bench there's donnies in the friend zone there's donnies in the dms bro in this game of love and romance unfortunately the game has to be tight bro super no homo key is to focus on what makes you desirable and attractive in her eyes at this point you should know what she likes about you so portray that what does she like about you your humor your confidence the way you smell your wit only you will know these things remember when she comes back as well you should look different bro your face should be different. Maybe you've lost weight. Maybe you've grown facial hair. Maybe your hair's longer. Maybe your hair's shorter. You 2.0, she, she, should she shouldn't be able to recognize you. Really. Even when she gives you the opportunity to have that one-on-one -on -one time with her, or she wants to give you a chance, the key and the gem here is space. Space is your best friend. Okay, bro, she sees you once a week, twice a week. The next week, don't see her. Why can't we see each other this week? I thought he wanted me back. Hey, you know what? I'm busy this week. I'll see you next week. Create the space. And in time, she will get back on your program. Be very disciplined with it. Remember, she needs your attention. She craves your attention. But also, you need to demonstrate higher value. Also, you need to get your power back. Also, you need to establish the dynamic that you want. Remember, it's your movie. You are the main character. Be very specific and disciplined with your time. It's understand that she might not be ready to jump back straight into a relationship with you. You need to give her time. She needs to make sure that she's 100% still into you as well. Maybe there are other donnies that you're not aware of. I said that earlier. Maybe she needs to cut them off as well. So be very careful. Don't sell yourself a dream. Never. Bro, when your ex does come back, if and when they do come back, bro, make it count, man. I took, I'll, I'll give you one year of my time of ex videos. But it's important that you do the right thing. If you, that's the girl that you want, bro, make it count. See you in the next one, man. Smash the like button, subscribe. Ask the questions below, man. If you need to book me, man, the links are there. Read my books. Everything's there for you guys. See you in the next one, man. Peace.